These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. The next work mode we're looking at is, um, I think it is time of use on the list. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, so it's saying time of use. So it's called enhanced TOU. Now this is an option that you cannot select from the menu. If you go to enhanced, enhanced TOU, you will now see that the save button is missing and it's not possible to put the work mode into enhanced TOU. Um, TOU has its own setup in the interface and I have a video, if you just have a look in, the, uh, in my other videos, um, all about the basic setup of enhanced TOU. So in this one I'll explain what it does, we're not going to go through how to set it up because um, that is in another video. TOU stands for time of use and to be frank when I found out what it stood for I was none the wiser about what it actually did. So this mode uh, is used to set up a schedule that runs automatically on the inverter. Um, so if you wanted, for example, more than two charge slots, or you actually wanted to do forced discharge slots, or you wanted to select a certain mode for a certain part of the day and a different mode for a different part of the day, then TOU is for you. There are up to, I think, 24 time slots in a 24 hour period. And um, each time slot can be programmed to change to a different mode uh, discharge the battery, charge the battery, so there's huge flexibility. This is what the TOU interface looks like. You can set specific days for a schedule to run. You can set specific times to do specific tasks. So here you can see that the standard mode is self-use in purple. Um, the allow charging, I've allowed um, charging from two o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the morning, which is depicted by the red line. And um, I've done a force discharge of the battery to the grid between four o'clock and seven o'clock in the evening, which is depicted by the um, turquoise or blue line there. So essentially you can just uh, add different times to this timeline and then you can put that schedule into the inverter and it will follow it. And you, you can set these up for different seasons, different times of year, different days of the week. Um, different times when you're on holiday or you're not on holiday and uh, TOU allows you to set up templates to predefine um, whatever schedule that you'd like and then you can just apply them to an inverter as and when you wish. If you find TOU slightly confusing please see my Octopus Flux basic TOU setup guide and um, I'll do a more complex TOU video tutorial uh, in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, see you on the next video.